Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, in my previous Space Engineer video on VidMe, someone asked, how did I get those elevators to work and how do they stop exploding in my face? They didn't say that last part, I just added it on for dramatic effect. So the elevators are done using the piston. Now this should be fairly easy to understand if you played this game, but if you haven't, then I hope this is helpful. Now the piston, starting from a down here, will always move four blocks up. And to make this really simple, if you stand on the top of that piston, then activate it, you will always move four blocks. Now over here, if you want to have it to connect to the door, I'll get on to building it in a second. I just want to show off some of these little designs that I've spent a little bit of time doing. So if you want to make an elevator, if I press this button, so let's say that's the door, you'd go up four blocks, and then the fifth block on top of that would be a second door. So I can see this block is going up. Now do know I have a gap there, because if you have this block rubbing up against this wall, it's not going to go well for you. I'm just going to put it like that. I did try and get one working, but it did not go well. Sorry about that. Someone just walked past. And there you go. That comes up to there, and you can walk across into there. There's a gap there. Now if we come over to this one, this is an enclosed version of that, so this would be more what you'd see in a base or a ship. So you'd have an enclosed version, and then you have a platform which would take you up, and you could click on the button, and it go up. So that's fairly standard stuff. Now if we come over to this one, this one is rubbing up against the walls, but there's nothing on it. If you have something on top of the piston, it's going to go a kaboom. So now I'm going to activate this, and sit on top of it. Whee! Now this is fairly good because the actual piston itself is smaller than a single block, but if you put a block on it, it's going to sort of ping into the middle and that's where the damage happens. Now it should hopefully... There you go. It's this little lip here which is the problem causer when you have a block on top of it. But yeah, so that works all perfect. Now this other one around here is if you wanted to build a piston into the ground, you would basically have to dig down and place a piston down like this, and so you could have a flat surface on here. Now, do know I am using a catwalk on top of an interior pillar, so if I was to lift this up, you can see what I mean. Using it like this means you avoid hitting the edges of the block down there, and if you have a triangle block up here, you'll completely avoid any kind of scraping along the side. Now this top lip is a bit dodgy. I'm hoping it won't explode, but in my test it seemed to be fine. There you go, there was a little bit of issue, but it got up there and it works as a proper elevator. You can see, sort of see here, it comes across the block a little bit, and if I was to send it on down, plop, it would, in fact, sorry, I, I, have, I keep turning my head with the camera, it's kind of annoying. It goes down quite safely and you can stand on that and that's all fine, but that's not practical if you have a lot of people. That's only useful if you have one single person. So that's what I'm going to do over here is show you how to build it so you can get it going. Now, if you have a pre-built object like a ship or a base you're already using, I highly recommend just going on the workshop and getting yourself an elevator off there, a proper modded working elevator, because this, you have to kind of build around the whole piston idea. So over here I've made a little area, let's say this yellow line is the floor of your building or whatever, and you have your door which you want to come in and then go up to another floor. So I'm going to place a piston in the middle, and then I'm going to get myself a, a catwalk. So if I grab a catwalk out of here and just dump it down here, then I can place it on top, or yeah, that actually works. And then I could place another one coming across, to, ooh, the controls. Another one like so, if I could get the control, these controls are really dodgy, like that, then this would be like a small little platform for you to go up on, if I could actually get the controls to work, there we go, like that. So what we're doing is basically just making it a small surface area without touching any of the walls, so let's pretend that's an imaginary wall, but I'll actually fill that in in just a second. So we've got a little platform like so. And then to come in, you want to use some kind of block. So the block here is slightly lower 
than the platform, which is what we want. Cause if you use a normal block, it'll be perfect line, which is where the trouble happens. But if you use a like a catwalk or something on top of it, it's going to be resting just above. So there's no risk of it ever exploding in your face. If you come along here, like that's your entrance in, whatever. And then you walk along this, you can easily just hop onto the platform and that's all okay. But now, like I said before, the block will always go up four blocks. So that'd be one block, two block, three block, four block, like so. And then you would have your door placed on the top like that. And then if I raise up the elevator, let me just reverse this. This will now go up. There was no issues there with the wall at all. And it should go and meet the door up here. Hopefully if I've done this correctly. So here we go. And voila, we're at the door here. Now when you're at the top door, you want to use a triangle block because it has to go down it. And that's the least riskiest block you can use. So if you use a square block, like so, Oop, fell down. This catwalk here is going to rub along the edge of it and there's a good job the whole piston will just bend to one side and snap off and explode. But if you have a triangle block, it only has to get over that one little lip. So if I erase this now and then send the piston all the way down. There we go. There, you see that? I might repeat that again in the video, but it just hips over the lip and then goes on its merry way. Now if I just fill in this area. Okay, so what I've done here is just very quickly try to enclose this area to show you what you could do. And so another thing you could do with this interior platform is basically go for a catwalk with a wall. Now I like doing this because it means you have a little safety thing and you can't just wander off the edge. Like that, and you could change this well, you can maybe change that. It's probably not a good idea, but you're going to have to risk it, I think. Or you could always use a interior wall like that. Of course, you would have to raise the elevator up first to do it. So if I just quickly do this now. So if I change to that and then send this elevator on its merry way. Like so then you can start building blocks around. So if I was to put a block like, say, I could go like that, and I could go like that. That's kind of dangerous to do, but I'm going to send it on down and see how this goes. So if I send it down, down it goes on the elevator. This is the moment of truth. I would usually have them the other way around, so this small edge is facing this way as a small safety area. But you might be able to get away with having it rubbing up against. There you go, it just about did it. Which means your people, whoever, your friends, can easily get on the elevator without any form of problem. And you can just go around the outside, filling this edge. One last thing before I go, however. Now, this didn't work a couple of months ago when I tried it. But they've clearly done it since, like implemented in this game, you can stack pistons. So I've got one, two, three, four pistons here. They're all tied to a single group. So if I press a button, voila, look at that. Stacked pistons for your enlarging entertainment. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that it was not a waste of time if you're new to this. So anyway, leave a like if you did, and if there's another video you want me to do on this, let me know, and I'll be back with some more content in the future. Bye-bye.